Hey, what's up guys? It's PKs. Hope you guys have been enjoying all the content out at the track. With any track day, there is some post-track day stuff that you gotta do. So there's a lot of stuff that you also gotta do. So it's not like you just go out there, drive, come home, that's it. Technically, you can, you know, because it is a brand new car. But there is a lot of preventative maintenance that you should do after track day. So the first thing you should do is change your oil. Second thing is the car does get pretty dirty, pretty grimy. Um, so I would recommend is give it a really good wash. Uh, you don't have to do a full on detail. If you, if you want to, you can. Um, but I, I would say give it a good wash, wax it, super hot tire. It just gets stuck to the paint and it's very common for that to happen. Third thing is check your brakes. Depending how hard you are on the track, your brakes may be worn out. Your rotors may be warped, AKA like mine. <laughs> um, or just, just in general, like, uh, you know, you should just, you, one, you should be checking it all the time, but yeah, check your brakes and uh, just to see the lifespan of it. Maybe you may need them soon, maybe you don't, but you're gonna have to do it sooner or later, so might as well purchase those. Next big thing is your tires, so I would say check your tires, make sure they're still good, um, especially if you drove there, you drove home. Once you get home, you wanna check them. Pretty much after track day, wash your car real good, uh, change the oil, check your brakes and rotors and check your tires so those four things are the biggest things that you want to check after track day so let's get to it let's watch the car let's change the oil i probably wouldn't use r1 concept rotors for track event but for the streets you know i've had, I haven't had issues uh, but that's a whole nother topic compared to stock system i prefer the stock rotors and stock pads versus the r1 pads and r1 rotors just because I one has nothing to do with the brand, uh, just the fact that I feel like the four stock they're really great and they give you a lot of confidence when you're braking. Versus the versus the R1 products, I did feel fade in uh, my braking power, and two kind of just more spongy. But it could be could be something else. Brake fluid change of a little under two years ago. I added Model 600. So it could be that there's air bubbles in my braking system. So that, I guess that's the fifth thing, changing your brake fluid. I guess, yeah, I guess that could be your fifth thing. Leave a comment if you want to go to a track event or if you've been to it, what what else have you done outside of what I've done? Um, but yeah, guys, and if you guys want to see more Type R content, uh, make sure to subscribe, you know, just, just, just hit the button. Give me give me five seconds of your life and just, just hit the subscribe really appreciate it. it lets me know that like hey i'm doing something right so pretty much what i wanted to say for track events now let's wash the car let's go to walmart get some mobile one oil and um you know do that do that stuff so yeah guys i've been parked here cleaning you know my car and from all the places watch i'm gonna move my car just to show you guys but from all the places these this couple had a party right next to me like bro it's like damn bro why we're driving here like it's fucking uh, hard. Look, look at all this parking over here. All this parking over here. And she had a park right next to me. Really, bro. Pop the hood, letting the engine oil cool down a little bit. I personally use these ramps. Drive in reverse. What I did was <laughs> I actually just use them kind of like a wheel stand, you could say. So what I do is I lift the jack enough that I can literally push this underneath. Once I push it underneath, I go other side, same thing. Put the jack, lift it up until the wheel is high enough, and then I put the ramp underneath. So what that does is pretty much gives me enough clearance to get underneath, so, so I'm a so-so skinny guy for this space. And then for oil filters, um, I'm using the 15 400 POM AL2, so this is the OEM Honda filter. Uh, same thing um, on Amazon. There's like a six pack for like I think it was like less than twenty dollars for a six pack. Are these OEM legit OEM? That's a good question. But looking from here, it looks to be OEM legit authentic from Amazon. So you need five point seven quarts. So pretty much six quarts. Honestly, um, what I do is I put the five quarts and then I put half of a quart, so five point five, and then afterwards I check my oil. On the track event looks like I did get some brand new rock chips specifically one here you guys can see that i got another fat one here um some minor ones here and then i don't know if you can capture it but i do have some scratches here hopefully i can take it off uh, here's another scratch let me see yep there you go so another major scratch there so hopefully with 
with the real good polish re-ceramic um, most of this will come off in theory hopefully <laughs> um, but we'll, we'll see so let's change the oil uh, you know let's not worry about that because I don't have no grip in the front and like I said at the track I just I didn't feel stable at all I thought it was just an alignment but now checking my tires so, so it looks pretty good right right outer wire outer line still good looks it's fair it's fair right you can still see some of the tread pretty much my tread is completely gone um, so this kind of happens just it naturally happens especially with camera wear where the camera gang so pretty much you could say my tires are pretty much bald at this point um, and pretty much it's, it's very it's pretty much about to rip this whole thing is pretty flat so good thing I checked them after the track I can tell you guys you guys should check your tires and even right now you know it's pretty lumpy I don't know why it's pretty lumpy so they lasted about 11,000 miles or so and that's considering I had two track events on these and um, some canyon runs in there too so I'm gonna put these tires back on um, now that I know the backs are pretty much they're done so they're camber work for sure so I'm gonna check some of so I'm gonna check the other side now finish off the maintenance day we're gonna use McGuire's detailer finishing wax so the intention with this is to be used with the polishing machine I'm not sure how the polishing machine and this wax would react with the ceramic coat the card needs a full-on ceramic coat again it's been about two years or so but I'm just gonna use a blue rag, damp it with some water, wax on, use a yellow rag to wax off, and uh, see if it kind of helps it. And then afterwards, pretty much after that, we're just gonna put the Type R away, gonna pull out the SDK and daily the SDK for a minute. Put a little bit of material on the, on the damp blue rag, kind of spread it out, you know. I usually do the car in portion, so. Probably do like one fourth of the hood and then on to the next section. And then, whenever you want to do wax on, wax off, always make sure the car is pretty much in shaded, cool down area. It's about 5 p.m. or so right now, so should be fine. Get a yellow rag, make it into four squares, and then just do wax off. Even, <clears throat> even with the wax, honestly, you can still see a lot of rock chips and defects. So, for sure, this isn't to take away from needing the detail. It's just more a way to take off some of that dirty layer on top. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you can capture it here on the camera. Let's see here here there's some very minor scratches I don't think they'll go away it's pretty deep I need to polish it but um, it is much more uh, soft compared to over here so we we'll do the whole car now finishing the front end you see all those little defects on the black yeah on the red it's you can't tell so much but that's the only thing I hate about waxing. Cause when you, once you start waxing, you see all the little defects and stuff. And let me see if I can find some stuff here. I'm not sure if it's captured on the camera, but like for example here, all those little defects. I think it's just a sign that uh, I need to get the OEM plus the red piece there and the Mugen front grill. <laughs> Art is pretty much done now. Um, oil change done. Car's been waxed from the outside really good, thoroughly. Uh, rims been clean. Uh, vac the interior has been vacuumed. The only thing left is pretty much putting new tires. But um, what I'm gonna do is pretty much put the car away for a bit, you know, just, just leave it in here. And, um, you know, I'll worry about the tires in like two months or so. <laughs> for now though, um, I did pull out the SDK, so. I'll be driving the SDK for a minute, but the car is looking super glossy. I'm really happy how it came out. Uh, again, I use McGuire's product. If you guys are still interested or anticipated going to a track day, I think it's worth it. Now that you guys know what you have to do after track day, I hope you guys still go. Don't feel intimidated on top of track day, on top of gas, on top of traveling. 
and potentially anything braking just driving your car out there 100 percent is just the best feeling even if you're not going fast right like i told you guys i didn't feel comfortable i still had hella fun you know i got a 220 button willow not the fastest i wasn't expecting to be fast again i wasn't even expecting to go out there so whole point is just to have fun and that's what i did and just like having fun you got to pay to play so afterwards we got to put in that work get the car up to speed up to spec and go out again so i would be out there every single weekend if i could but you know the way my bank account is and, and stuff like let's be real like i ain't got it like that so all right guys another talk hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe peace guys